Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're joined by James Campbell, who is the CEO and co-founder of Cato Security. Cato Security's mission is to empower security teams with a smarter and faster way to investigate and respond to cyber incidents in the cloud. James joins us today to tell us more about Cato Security and what they're doing and what they offer for their customers. Thank you for coming along, James, and welcome to the jam. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. You're very welcome. Uh, well, let's get straight into it. For a business that hasn't worked with Cato Security before, what are your key products and offerings? Yeah, so Cato Security um, provides the first cloud forensics and incident response platform. The platform itself enables security teams to kind of gain immediate access to forensic data uh, across multi-cloud, container, and serverless environments. Um, ideally enabling to quickly, you know, respond, uh, identify root cause uh, and scope and essentially what the impact of the internet is in, in a more timely manner. Well, now, what problems can Cato Security solve for organizations? Um, it, it's worth reflecting on why we started Cato in, in the first place, I guess, uh, if, if I may say. So, um, you know, my background is all around cyber incident response, doing digital forensics. Um, my career started in uh, in Australia, actually, at the Australian Signals Directorate um, in incident response, and then moving over here to run incident response for Price Waterhouse Coopers here in Europe. And um, you know, one well, two things really I realized um, with my co-founder Chris was one: a lot of our customers were definitely adopting the cloud, like really, really embracing it. Um, you know, and so a lot of the workloads, a lot of the data was shifting to the cloud. Um, and, you know, but the, the more important thing that I noticed as I was helping these customers when they're having incidents in the cloud was just how complex the cloud really was and how much of a grind it was to actually do some level of detailed investigation, understand what was going on and, and how to respond to that. And so this is where it was kind of like, this doesn't make sense, you know, um, you know, really the cloud should be easier, not harder. Um, and this is where Cato came along. Uh, we said, we, a lot of this should be automated. We should be using the cloud to solve its own problem, really. Um, and so um, really Cato was born out of these frustrations, to, you know, to help organizations kind of decomplicate the cloud, uh, give them a solution that, you know, navigates all the various technologies and ephemeral environments as an example, so containers, et cetera. Um, and, you know, give them a platform that allows them to respond in a way that they're used to, um, so to say. Well, now, what are the most recent improvements or innovations in Cato's offerings? Um, one thing we've really been focusing on uh, kind of uh, recently and kind of have another version uh, about to be released, which I'm really excited about, is, is around automated investigations. So, you know, one thing... Um, you know, that is definitely apparent in the cloud. You know, you have various different types of new technologies. A lot of people don't even know how half of them work in honesty. Um, and, you know, a lot of different data sets, you know, hundreds and hundreds of different new data sets, which, you know, you traditionally wouldn't have got with on-premise environments. And so, you know, this is really complicated. And so, you know, like what data do I need for an investigation? How do I grab the data and all these sorts of things? And so one of the things we've really focused on and, and releasing is uh, an improved way of doing automated investigations. Um, so that means automating that data capture um, and streamlining that end to end incident response, automating that process and presenting it in a way which is a nice, easy, an easy single timeline view or a single pane of glass, you know, with multiple data sources. So it might be log files, it might be disk analysis, it might be a container. You know, we can bring that all together and our users will have an automated investigation or a first line triage of all those kind of data sources on one screen in one timeline. Um, just massively kind of decomplicates doing investigations in the cloud. And so this kind of automated investigation kind of improvement and feature um, is something that I'm, I'm really looking forward to having customers get their hands dirty with. I guess just picking up on that, how you say a single pane of glass, why is that so important having it all in that one space? Yeah, so I think it, traditionally what's happened is like some people will have, say, log files from, say, uh, a web server or a seam or something like that. So like firewall log files. And then they'll say, oh, OK, this is kind of a suspicious line here, you know, at this time. And then they'd go off and look at their EDR. 
Um, and then they would, you know, investigate that system and then again, work out a bit of a timeline of events. Um, and then they might go do forensics. Um, they'll, they'll use some open source tools. They'll use some off the shelf tools. And basically, ultimately, they'll piece together all the little, little events on multiple data sources. And sometimes, believe it or not, in a spreadsheet, that's what we, you know, a lot of the incident responders end up, they end up in a spreadsheet, weirdly. And so, and what they're doing is they're just genuinely creating a, a timeline of events um, of the actual incident and, and therefore kind of having that impact. So we're, we're basically kind of recreating that workflow, but in a much easier way. So instead of going off and doing it on multiple platforms and multiple data sources, we bring all that in, we normalize it all, and we and we put all, you know, regardless if there's three different systems and log files, et cetera, we'll bring that all in, process it, and give you the same view in that one pane of glass. And it just really speeds up that analysis. And also, you know, if you think about, you know, if a hacker, you know, we do a great example uh, one time for, for a SANS presentation, where we show a hacker um, hacking a Kubernetes container. So that's a, for those that aren't familiar with containers, it's a kind of like a micro virtual system. It's probably the best way of describing yeah. it, running in the cloud. So a small workload or resource. And what we do is we actually show the hacker actually jumping from that initial access of that system uh, onto another system. And, you know, if it wasn't for a combination of having that forensic data from the container itself and the log files and then the other system as well and putting that in one timeline, it would have been very hard to see that they were actually got onto one system and then actually jumped across to another. And so that kind of central timeline or that central view is, is really critical and helps you understand what's really going on. Thank you for explaining that. Uh, no, no worries. What what trends are your product development teams laser focused on next? Yeah, look, I think one of the one of the tricky parts about forensics is the word forensics. So it's, you know, traditionally you need, you know, a, a really technical background, you really need a lot of training uh, and the likes of that. And so, you know, so a lot of, um, you know, uh, people don't necessarily possess the skill set or a lot of companies can't even hire enough people that have the right skill set in the forensic space. And so what we're trying to do is make forensics more approachable or an everyday thing. Um, and so, you know, as an analyst, like it's, you know, um, like a SOC analyst or something like that, it's kind of almost leveling them up, but through technology um, and through that automation. And that's what we're trying to achieve here. And so that's what we're kind of focused on at the moment is how do we level up you know, the other you know, analysts and the technical people out there to actually do forensics, but with little training and little kind of um, thought process into it, uh, that's, you know, give them something that they're used to from a workflow perspective, uh, which is really important. And that's not to say that the the experts, the, you know, the deep dive experts don't have a place. The idea is to save them time so they can go do more advanced stuff and deep dive even further and really understand stuff and pick pick things apart. So there's still a lot to um, gain from the more advanced end of the scale as well. Awesome. Well, I guess to finish off, if an enterprise end user wanted to engage with Cato security, what's the best way for them to do that? Well, really, it's through our website, uh, catosecurity.com. Um, we've got a contact us form there. You can also request a demo, see some of our content. Um, we also offer up free trials as well uh, for some organizations. Uh, so if you want to kind of kick tires on the uh, on the product. Um, and for those that are kind of more into just dabbling in the field, we also have a free community edition as well. So um, we encourage people to check that out. Well, it has been a pleasure having you on the Jam, James, and learning more about Cato Security and what you guys do. Uh, we look forward to hearing more from Cato very soon. Excellent. Thank you very much for having me.